Two wins out of two. We are through to the last 16 with a game to spare. Le Havre, you've been emotional. Get me back to Nice. Yes, whilst we make our way back to the south of France, let's take a look at how the players reacted at the full-time whistle. Here's Jodie Taylor and Beth Mead. Hey guys, Jodie Taylor here. Um, so happy that we won, so happy to score, and so happy that we are through to the round of 16. Hi everyone. Um, I mean, we're buzzing to be uh, qualifying through the, further into the competition. Um, buzzing for my roomie Jodie to get an assist and her to smash it home for us get the win and hopefully yeah, we'll see you all at the next game. Time to get home, it's very late here. Uh, time to recover and get ready for Japan. Roommates combining for our winning goal. Now that is what you call teamwork. And that was also Jodie's seventh goal in nine major tournament appearances, goal machine. Let's take a look at how the camp have reacted. So Carly, a World Cup debut last night. Can you even put that into words? Probably not. Uh, it was emotional. It was a bit overwhelming and probably an experience that I've dreamt of many a time, but it probably wasn't exactly like that. It was 10 times better. So um, I think the fans were incredible, which was amazing to walk out to. And then the team won, which is even more important. So um, yeah, it's pretty special. Did you have a favourite moment in the game or anything about the whole day that really sticks in your mind? Um, probably your pirouette out of uh, two players. <laughs> I think it was a Cruyff turn. Um, no, I think, look, overall, I think the whole day was, was amazing. Um, it was a long day, nine o'clock kickoff, so you had lots to think about, but I tried to just carry on as normal. I know you slept in the afternoon, so I left yeah. you to that. Um, but no, it was just a normal day for me. Um, it's probably seeing my brother and sister in the crowd, which was pretty special at the end. I think what strikes me about goalkeepers is just how patient you are in waiting for this moment and you're such a fantastic character to have around. How do you really keep that togetherness between the goalkeepers and then obviously stepping out onto the pitch yesterday? Like, What really drives you to stay together in order to fight for that number one spot? I've paid her to say that. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's just like, say, until you're in um, a GK union, you probably don't really understand it because as an outfield player, you probably know you're going to get minutes on the pitch at some point. Um, but for us, look, there's only one person that can have that spot and it's rare that it gets rotated. I've been lucky enough in the past 16 months that Phil's given me lots of opportunities, uh, shown a lot of confidence in me. And look, I've waited 12 years for this moment. Um, so I think when I knew it was coming along, I was definitely going to be ready for it. But look, whoever plays their part in the next four, five, six games um, will do the best job for their country, do the best job for this team and then hopefully win us a World Cup. And a final one, how do you keep concentrating when the ball's up the other end? Um, do you just randomly go for a little jog or is there anything you do to keep yourself concentrating? Yeah, you probably might see me jogging back and forward, stretching, um, but mainly I just try and talk. I know no one really listens, <laughs> but uh, just talk my way through the game, whether it's to my centre-halves, full-backs, um, and just enjoying the game, really. I think last night was a almost I was able to be a spectator and watch you guys do your thing and then just stay switched on, stay in the moment. And then, um, yeah, and look, you are a joy to watch sometimes, and sometimes I'm very lucky because I've got the best seat in the house. But um, So last night, when I wasn't as busy, um, it was nice to just watch you guys do your thing. Um, but when we are busy, sometimes they're the best ones as well. I know my opposite number had a really good game last night too, so big respects to her. Yeah. Um, but goalkeeping can be lots of fun, it can be boring, but at times it's the best job in the world. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Our lovely cat, Carly Telford, everyone. Woo! There you go, exclusive from the camp. We're always bringing you the goods. Let's see how you guys reacted on Twitter. So, Ian Hamblin says, Well done, Lionesses. Beaten two of our old adversaries. Always going to be tough, but got the job done. Simon Kimbrell says, Well done, the Lionesses. Qualification for last 16. Great stuff doing us all proud. They are indeed. Wendy Bradley says, Lionesses, fab football, fab team, great technical foresight. Ladies, you rock. Paul Martin Smith says, really enjoyed watching the Lionesses putting Argentina to the sword tonight. The football for the winning goal was top quality. Bring on Japan. Louise Pauly says, being in Crete with nowhere to watch the game won't stop us. Love that. Gareth Miller says, what a fine example of how to score a goal as a team. Hannah Tilly says, absolutely buzzing for Jodie Taylor with the winner and the Lionesses on making the last 16. 
And fresh from the semi-final of the French Open, Johanna Conta says, last 16, here we come. Keep sending us your messages and videos using the hashtag Lionesses Daily because we love seeing them. And also, don't forget, you can win amazing prizes. So yesterday, we gave away Ellen's signed Scotland shirt. And today, you could win Fran Kirby's boots. Yeah, her actual boots, thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. So make sure you go to the link on the screen for your chance to win. Now, we've still got about four hours to go till we get to Nice, so we should probably get going if we're going to make tomorrow's show. But I'll leave you with this. Now, is it too early to say it's coming home? Melanie C doesn't think so. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home.